morning, everyone. Welcome to the Alfred Knight Show. Today we're having an amazing writer, and none other than William Cedar. William Warner Cedar, born on February 13, 1945, in Havre de Grace, Maryland, was a prolific young adult and children novelist. Some of his works include The Angry Moon, Run, House of Tears, Among the Dolls, Into the Dream, The Phantom Limb, and The Elevator, which is the number for interview. His early years of writing were not spent entirely on narrating, as he initially played music in ballet schools in England for a living. He then returned to America to write and publish his first two novels, Black Bear published in 1972 and The Angry Moon published in 1979. You probably do not know that Slater's whole family were scientists. His mother, Esther Kaplan Slater, was a remarkable pediatrician. His father, William, was a physiology professor, and his brothers, Daniel and Tico, were professors of computer science. However, he was more interested in arts and music, which he studied at the University of Harvard, and took as an initial fervor before narrating. Now, without further ado, let's have our one and only Mr. William Sleater. Thank you for being with us tonight. Now, what is Spider to ride the elevator? I mostly write stories based on personal experience. Basically, I write stories about reluctantly heroic adolescents of their everyday life facing unusual astronomical or scientific fictional, or non-fictional phenomena, such as black holes. In addition, I also write stories with the theme of sibling rivalry and having to deal with parents. I wanted to reach out to a person with Martin's problems with the message, face your fears and never run away from them, or they would multiply rather than be solved. Now what psychological properties have you used in the elevator and why? I used psychological properties such as paranoia and fear in my story to direct the protagonist to an enthralling ending to the story. Martin's apprehension from the building's elevator leads him to imagine a hallucination of a savage-looking obese lady. Initially in the story, you can see that Martin was a child subjected to bullying, having low self-esteem, and never facing his fears, and running away from them. As a result, he faced another fear from the elevator, which led him to the fat lady. She is a representation of his problems, each part of her representing a problem he ran away from, such as school bullying and his father and the weight of that problem. Besides, he faced anxieties such as claustrophobia and social disorders, thus, being uncomfortable within the vicinity of the fat lady or in school. Finally, he also had to deal with his father, who was an authoritative type of parent and was expecting much from his son and not sympathizing with him, leaving Martin more confused and lost than ever. For instance, when Martin came home breathless, having just used the stairs, his father gave him an expression that Martin took to mean an accusation of being a coward. Well, thank you Mr. Slido for joining us today Beyond the Grave to attend this interview. We appreciate you joining us today and we hope to see you again Beyond the Dead the next time. Thank you once again for your contributions to society. Now, that concludes the end of our interview today. I hope you join us again next Thursday as we have a new author for that week. See you then.